Uh, well, yes, there was an earthquake this morning and people here in southern New England felt it. Well, the quake was actually centered off the coast of Maine. Here's how some people there described it. And it was boom and then instantly, like all at once, the whole house was shaking and I looked up and the lights were swinging. All of a sudden, I mean, it was, it was sound like a, a truck or an airplane engine or something. I mean, and the house shook at the same time. It felt like a crash, like something like the whole something big landed on the house to me. Mm. And then you feel uh, feel little tremors afterwards. A few seconds it went on for a few seconds afterwards. A couple of things fell off my shelf, um, but we literally thought that something exploded. Katie McNeil talked to a local seismologist about it and tells us how strong the quake was. Katie. We've been tracking reports from several of our viewers Monday morning and afternoon describing a brief shake that could be comparable to a large truck driving by. This was due to a 3.8 magnitude earthquake near the main coastline with a radius that could be felt over 100 miles away. At approximately 10.22 a.m. Monday, an earthquake was felt across New England. Residents of southern coastal Maine were the closest to the epicenter and felt the strongest tremors. Several calls were put out to Maine police shortly after it occurred. Address again. Yeah, we're not sure what's going on. We're getting calls from all over town about an explosion. We've had multiple calls reference the tremor. Uh, we've been inundated with 911 calls, so please be patient. Here's an aerial view of where the earthquake happened, about six and a half miles from York Harbor, Maine. The epicenter of the quake was 12 feet below the surface offshore from the mainland. This map from the U.S. Geological Survey shows just how far away seismic waves were felt, as far west as New York State. Providence, which had hundreds of reports, is roughly 90 miles away from the epicenter. I spoke with Brian Savage, a geosciences professor at the University of Rhode Island, about why that is. When we have earthquakes that are on the east coast or in New England, uh, the seismic energy radiates a very far radiates very far away because it loses energy very slowly, as opposed to in California where things are the ground is warmer, the uh, the ground is more broken up because of all the faults. There's not a lot of continuity, and so the energy we get a lot more energy loss. Um, in say California or Southern California than we do in on the East Coast. The USGS says that there is a 50% chance of at least one magnitude three plus aftershock within the next week. But the good news is the National Tsunami Warning Center said there was no tsunami danger from this quake. In studio, I'm meteorologist Katie McNeil, 12 News.